Sand casting is a simple, cost-effective approach for manufacturing metal parts that are used in many industries, such as industrial equipment, aerospace, automotive, defense, agricultural equipment, and consumer products. To make the sand molds for casting metal parts, foundries use loose patterns, split patterns, and match plates. They also need patterns for gate and runner systems and sand molding tools called core boxes. FDM manufactures these mold making items. Even before the foundry starts making sand casting molds, it may benefit from using FDM to make models, prototypes, and sales samples of the castings to validate product designs and get customer approval to proceed with the order. With that approval, the sand casting process begins, and it starts with a pattern production. Traditionally, skilled pattern makers in woodworking or metal shops created sand casting patterns. As the availability of pattern shops has declined, Innovative and efficient options such as FDM have filled the void. Complex patterns that once took several weeks to make are now produced in-house in only a few hours on an FDM system. Gates and runners feed molten metal to the part cavities in a sand casting mold, but getting the mold to fill properly often means adjustments. Making an interchangeable FDM gate and runner system gives the foundry the means to do test pours, redesign the gates and runners, and quickly rebuild them. From prototypes to production orders, FDM is an ideal tool for making castings for low-volume aerospace parts or mass-produced hardware for doors and windows. Once the FDM patterns, gates, and runners are made, the balance of the sand casting process is unchanged. First, the FDM patterns are sanded. Next, an optional foundry coat is applied. This seals the pattern and improves abrasion resistance. Now, the pattern is bolted to the match plate blank, and the gates and runners are attached. Then, a mold release is applied. With FDM's real thermoplastics, the patterns are robust enough to withstand the sand abrasion and the compaction pressures when forming the sand molds for any of the methods. Loose pattern sand casting with hand ramming forces for no-bake sand casting, and match plate inserts for green sand casting. Once the sand has been formed around the pattern to create a cope and drag, the sand molds are ready for metal casting. Molten metal is poured into the sand mold. After cooling, the sand is removed with vibratory machines or through hand processes. Sand blasting may be used to remove any residual sand trapped in the cast metal surface. The raw metal castings then go through secondary processes, including gate and runner removal, drilling, sanding, and machining. These secondary processes can also benefit from FDM. Guides for removing gates and runners, holding fixtures and nesting fixtures for machining, jigs and fixtures used to inspect finished part dimensions. From pattern to finished metal casting, FDM makes the process fast, efficient, and flexible. For further information, contact Stratasys Application Support.